हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डेट हंड्रीड ऑफ अक्टूबर लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड इन केस सिस्टम डिजाइन इंटरव्यूज गिव यू नाइट मेयर्स हेयर इज अ सोल्यूशन फॉर यू रिसेंटली टूडे इट सेल्फ आई पब्लिश अ न्यू वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन स्केलिंग स्केलिंग फॉर डमीज आई चैलेंज इवन स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग इन क्लास टेंथ विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्केलिंग फुली आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो This is a short video of 12 minutes. I would urge you guys, if you have apprehensive about system design interviews, this is the right place for you. So whenever you get time, do give it a shot. It's worth watching. Trust my words, it's worth watching. You can miss out on any lead code challenge uh, of the daily contest, but don't miss out these sessions. These are highly valuable. Now let's look at today's question. Today's question is. construct binary search tree from pre order reversal here we are given an array that states the pre order reversal of a binary search tree we need to generate the complete tree using this pre order reversal without much ado let's look at the presentation that i have created for this and let's get started with the solution construct binary tree from pre order reversal lead code 374 and let's try and understand the question First of all, let's run the understand the meaning of pre-order reversal. Pre-order reversal stands for data followed by left node followed by right node. Current node followed by left node followed by right node. Some people call it data left right. Some people call it info left right. So you can use either of the terminologies. But it means that you need to visit the current node first, then go in its left child, and followed by the right child. The other property that we need to remember. is of bst that all nodes in this left subtree will be lower than 8 and all nodes in the right subtree of 8 will be higher than 8 so consider any node pick out any node in the right subtree it will have a value higher than 8 consider any node in its left subtree it will have a value lower than 8 these are the true properties that we are going to use to build the algorithm and let's get started with the solution So I've written the pseudo code here so that you can correlate with it. But let's not get into it. Let's start the iteration. The first index that we have is zero. So I have defined a global variable that will keep track of the current node that I'm currently iterating over. And right now its value is zero. So what I'm gonna do? I'll go and create a node. And for the root, we know the lower bound is minus infinity, and the upper bound is plus infinity. So let's get started with the node creation. We went ahead, created the node because we know that for the root, the lower bound is minus infinity and the upper bound is plus infinity. Let's continue. The next node that we see is one, and the value of index turns out to be one. And here we have five. So we will recursively invoke two helper methods and update the lower and upper bound respectively. The upper bound for the left invocation uh, would be 8 its range will lie within minus infinity and 8 and for the right subtree the range would be 8 up till infinity so let's continue the process here we see 1 at 1 we have 5 so we are going to update a new node we'll go and create a new node and that will be termed as 5 we'll continue the process and for its next iteration the lower bound will be minus infinity and the upper bound will be updated to 5 so all the nodes that lie within this subtree should lie in this two specific range minus infinity to 5 let's continue the process we created a node at 5 so then we incremented the pointer as well so the index pointer gets updated to 2 next we see is 1 at 2 we'll go and create a new node named 1 and for the next iteration we'll have minus infinity followed by 1 as our limits let's continue the process and what do you foresee here the next entry that we get, got is 7 7 is out of bounds that means we'll have to update the node to null because this is a misfit and we'll update this to null Let's continue the process. Let's move on to its right child. For the right entry, uh, the lower bound would be equal to one, and the higher bound would be equal to five. 
सेवन डजेंट लाई इन दिस रेंज दैट मीन्स वी नीड टू सेट इट एज नल सो दिस गेट्स अपडेटेड टू नल लेट्स कंटिन्यू द प्रोसेस वी द कंट्रोल गोज बैक टू हेयर एंड वॉट वुड बी द बाउंड फॉर दिस एंट्री इट वुड बी फाइव लोअर बाउंड वुड बी फाइव अपर बाउंड वुड बी सेव एट एंड वॉट इज द करंट वैल्यू द करंट वैल्यू दैट वी हैव ए सेवन सो सेवन गॉट्स गेट्स फिल्ड इन हेयर एंड लेट्स इंक्रीमेंट द पॉइंटर टू फोर एंड द वैल्यू दैट वी हैव ए टेन टेन लाइज आउटसाइड द रेंज ऑफ फाइव सेवन एंड एट सो बोथ द एलिमेंट्स हेयर विल गेट नल यू कैन ट्राई दिस अप योर सेल्फ द कंट्रोल गोज बैक टू दिस कॉल स्टैक एंड वॉट इज द रेंज फॉर दिस एलिमेंट द रेंज इज एट अप टिल इन्फिनिटी टेन लाइज विद इन दिस रेंज टेन गेट्स एडेड एंड द वैल्यू गेट्स इंक्रीमेंटेड टू फाइव द इंडेक्स गेट्स इंक्रीमेंटेड टू फाइव एंड द वैल्यू दैट वी हैव इज ट्वेल्व Let's write the possibility for its left child range and the right child range. For the left child range, it should be equal to the lower should be equal to eight. The upper should be less than ten. It's outside the range. Twelve is outside the range, so the value gets filled in with null. And for its right child, the lower should be ten, and the upper should be infinity. Twelve lies within this range. The value gets updated to twelve. And in this way, we have created. the complete tree as asked in the question and it's exactly same to what was specified over here i have written the pseudo code here uh, please feel free to go through it although i'll be telling the same code in the coding section so without much to do let's look at the coding part the time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are iterating across each node only once and the space complexity is height of the tree which is order of h or you can say log n let's start the iteration here i initialized a private variable index that will keep track of the current element into consideration in the pre order traversal i created a bst helper method i passed in the pre order traversal our input array and two bounds lower bound and upper bound we'll call it start and end you can call it lower or upper whatever you like if my index is happens to be equal to length or is greater than length uh, you simply return true this is an abortion condition the other case is if my current element into consideration is less than the start the lower bound or my current element into consideration is greater than the higher bound i update the node to null otherwise i extract the value at a particular index i increment the pointer for the next iteration i assign or create a new node using the value and no dot left is equal to bst helper we pass in the pre order traversal the lower bound remains the same the value becomes the upper bound the current value becomes the upper bound of the left uh, traversal and for the right traversal the current value becomes the lower bound the upper bound remains the same in the end we simply return the node that we have created and in this way we form the entire tree let's try this up accepted it's 100 times faster so it's pretty good there uh, this brings me to the end of today's session if there any feedback with respect to this scaling video or this video do let me know i'll be more than happy uh, to hear about it even positive or negative or if there are some suggestions those are most welcome do also don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye